Now that you have an idea of what a paragraph structure would look like, I would like to give you an overview of the entire essay structure. So for a Mice and Men essay, this first essay that you'll be writing, you will be writing a four paragraph essay. What that looks like visually is you will have an introductory paragraph, two body paragraphs, and a concluding paragraph. So what I went over with you in the last lesson was all the different parts of the body paragraph, including the main claim, subclaim, evidence sentences, analysis, and then concluding sentence. What I'm going to do right now is go over what um, your sentences, or sorry, your entire essay will look like when it's all put together. So let's start by breaking it down a little bit at a time. So first of all, your introductory paragraph will have a minimum of three sentences. And you will begin kind of broad, and then you will go from that general broad statement all the way down to the more specific, which will be your thesis, which is the heart of the essay or the point of your essay. So you see this inverted triangle that is to basically let you know that you're starting broad and you're getting more specific and ending with the point of your essay. So when you begin broadly, you're going to begin with a grabber or a hook. So go ahead and type that in. The grabber or the hook can be like a quote or a shocking statement, something that grabs the reader's attention. And I'm sure that in junior high and, and even elementary school, you have been talking about this. And so we'll talk about effective grabbers and hooks when we have a separate lesson just on introductory paragraphs. The next sentence is going to be a bridge. And that bridge is basically something that will connect whatever your grabber or hook is to the main claim in the essay. So your bridge will explain the grabber or the hook, and you need to explain how it actually relates to this essay. So this is also a sentence where you can provide some background information for the reader. Uh, uh, you can give, give them information on the essay topic, or for example, since this essay will be on Of Mice and Men, you could talk about Steinbeck. You could talk about the background and history of the time period. There's a lot of things that you can do for the bridge, as long as whatever you talk about actually relates to the grabber or the hook as well. And then since this is about, a, oh ma'am, you know, you could also discuss um, marginalization and define marginalization and what that's all about. And that will bring you to your main claim, which we talked about in the previous lesson. So your main claim is your opinion. It's the point of your essay. It's the heart of your essay. That's the reason why it is last. It is the point of your essay and it directs the reader into the rest of your essay. So grabber and hook grabs the attention of the reader. The bridge, what it does is connect the grabber to the main claim. It makes some sense. It provides some background. It gives some information about the topic. And then you go to the main claim, which is the point of your essay. And then they read on. Then that leaves us to your first body paragraph. So in your first body paragraph, you're going to always have eight sentences minimum. So each body paragraph should have eight sentences minimum. What that will look like is first you'll start with your subclaim, also sometimes called the topic sentence. And then you will have three sentences that are connected with one another. You'll have your first evidence sentence. Then you'll have your first sentence of analysis, which is your A1, and then you'll have your second sentence of analysis, which is your A2. Now I want you to always think of your evidence and analysis as connected. So in other words, whatever this evidence is, your analysis should relate to whatever evidence you brought up, and it should connect back to your main claim or your sub and your subclaim. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight those three colors in one color, or three, three sentences in one color. I want you to think of them like a chunk that goes together. Then you continue on and you have another evidence sentence because we always have at least two evidence sentences in every essay. And then you have your first analysis for that evidence sentence and you'll have your second analysis for that evidence sentence. Again, these three will belong together in topic and what you're discussing. And so I'll highlight them just in a different color so that you can see that they belong with one another. And then last, you'll have your concluding sentence, which will wrap up what you've talked about in this paragraph 
and also transition into your next paragraph. So notice that number one and number eight sentence, these sentences are in the same color. They're kind of like a bookend because this one introduces your topic and your opinion and what you're going to discuss. And this one wraps up, summarizes what you've discussed and also transitions into the next body paragraph, sort of gives a preview. Also wanna remind you that these are kind of chunked together and these are chunked together as well, because this evidence and analysis relates with one another, and this separate piece of analysis and, or sorry, evidence and analysis relates with one another. Then you'll move on to your second body paragraph, and you'll do the exact same thing. You'll begin with a subclaim, you'll move on to your first evidence sentence, you'll have analysis that goes with it. Oops. <laughs> then you'll have another evidence sentence, another sentence of analysis and analysis and then you'll have a concluding sentence for this one again you're going to chunk out your information so these three will be related to one another in some way and these three will be related to one another all of them will connect back to your subclaim for that paragraph and your main claim at the very top Okay, so eight sentences minimum for each body paragraph. And that brings us to our concluding paragraph. You'll notice that in the concluding paragraph, it's not an inverted triangle, it's actually quite the opposite. In this case, you're beginning with and summarizing your main point, and then you're ending more broad and general. So your first thing that you're going to do in a concluding paragraph is you're going to restate your main claim. You'll use different words, you'll change the sentence order, but you'll basically restate what you talked about here in your main claim. You're kind of bringing together everything you've discussed in your body paragraph one and body paragraph two and helping the reader to understand how they all relate. So the next thing that you often will do is, is make a broad statement. That broad statement can be can apply to the topic. Typically what it does is it applies the topic of your essay to the real world. So how does this essay real, you know, in the real world important or interesting or worthwhile for people to understand? And since we are talking about of mice and men and we will be talking about the marginalization of certain characters, we could certainly discuss that. And the last part is more broad and we call it the so what statement. Basically, it is answering the question, so what? Why is this important? So this is where you will provide some solutions to the topic. You might explain to the reader basically why you should even care about your topic. Why should you care about the things that you have discussed in your whole essay? This is the moment where you get to make everything you've discussed relevant to the reader and help them understand why you've made the argument that you have made. So the concluding paragraph is a minimum of three sentences, but oftentimes people write many more sentences because they have more to say. And it starts a little bit more specific and it ends much more broad or general, which is why we have the wide base. So what I want you to do, um, I'm gonna show you again, is to print these notes because if you have them next to you when you're writing an essay, you'll get sort of an understanding of the whole overall structure and how it all fits together. You start broad and you end broad. So you begin with the grabber and the hook, the bridge and the main claim and the introductory paragraph. You move on to your second paragraph that has a minimum of eight sentences. Then you move on to your second body paragraph, which has a minimum of eight sentences. And your last paragraph, the fourth paragraph, is the concluding paragraph, where you restate the main claim, make a broad statement, and explain why this is important to the world, why it's important to society, why your topic is important and we should care about it. So for, this is the, the um, structure for a four, uh, four paragraph essay. So if you were asked to write a five paragraph essay, you would just simply add another body paragraph but you would always still have an introduction and you would always have a conclusion. So you can see that at minimum, you are going to have 16 sentences, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 sentences to make an entire essay. But of course, they're going to be well-structured, they're going to be very thoughtful, and they will, be, um, they will bring all of your ideas together. Now, the last thing I wanna discuss is within the body paragraphs, 
the times that they might be more than eight sentences is in the analysis. So if you are writing a body paragraph and you have more to say, or it's difficult to say what you want to say in only one sentence or two sentences, this is where your body paragraphs will actually be longer uh, than eight sentences, is by adding some additional analysis. This is always a good practice to do if you, um, you know, have some something complex that you're trying to explain to everyone, because you want your reader to not to feel lost. You want to guide them through your thinking. And so this structure helps you to do that. And that's why we are suggesting you use this for uh, the, the paragraphs and the essays that you turn in. Um, what I would like you to do is to take all of these notes, the notes that you had from this part of the lesson, as well as the notes that you have from this part of the lesson. So in other words, the components of a paragraph, as well as essay structure, and please print them or copy them on another piece of paper, but have them for future reference. So copy this entire assignment and keep it um, for your other years at Steel Canyon or in high school. And um, I would suggest printing them while you are working and writing your essay. I hope you are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon.